Hello everyone, welcome to my Coral Island Let's Play series, episode 96. Now before we get into the game, I'm going to go over some of the update that is coming, because I'm very excited about it. Now, there is a full rundown of a lot of stuff coming in the update, but there's a few things they did not mention in the dev update. Um, so there might be more dev update later, because this one is uh, says focus on the ocean. I think it said somewhere. So take a look at several new merfolk and more, it says. Um, however, the roadmap uh, shows a few other things that are not mentioned in here. So update 1.1, which I mentioned in a previous episode, is going to beta on May 20th. So what we're going to get in update 1.1, this is from their Coral Island roadmap right now, town, town rank S questline, attractions, which is new town rank category, Taurus system, backer NPC, merfolk storyline, merfolk relationships, merfolk romance, ocean farming and ranching, more story content, savannah access, buffalo and ostrich, new outfits and decor, improvements to dialogue system, and improvements to hat system. Now that is what is coming in update 1.1. So since this is hitting in May 20th to beta, we might get this probably sometime in summer. And it depends on how well things go. Um, update 1.2 is going to be Island Visit, a full featured multiplayer, Speaky Festival NPC outfits, and Merfolk Festival. So who knows? Uh, that's a smaller update, it looks like. So maybe that we'll get in the fall or winter. That'd be cool. And then update. 1.3 on the roadmap is going to be Children Grow Up, Children Portrait, Children Dialogue, Children Heart Events, Slice of Life Scenes Batch 2, Hangout Slash Dating Mechanic Version 2, Slice of Life Scenes Batch 2. So now some of that's liable to change if they are able to get stuff, you know, done a little sooner. They might be able, might try to tackle some other stuff. So our dev update. We get to meet some merfolk townies, a tattoo artist, a rancher, a tavern owner, and a senior guard. Risey runs her own tattoo shop where she designs all the tattoos herself and doesn't take custom orders. Art over custom, she said. Sorry, folks. She dedicates a lot of time to perfecting her art, hoping to find people who appreciate it. Could that someone be you? Slamet is a rancher who can help you get animals for your underwater ranch. He's trained countless seahorses, mermoos, and more. If it were up to him, he'd care for all the animals in the ocean, but alas, he's only got two hands, so he dedicates himself to serving the kingdom. Fun fact, Slamet, like Joko, is a common name in Indonesia. It's also the name of a mountain in central Java. The word Slamet loosely means safety or congratulations. Janu opened own Sleepy Eel, the local tavern. He's single and not interested in dating. He's content with his life and prefers not to let a relationship complicate things. You'll find him at the tavern all the time, fully devoted to his work. The Hot, a loyal guard who has served the kingdom for many years. He's married to what he considers the most beautiful sea creature in the world, Etna, and leads a quiet life. They've mostly stayed in the kingdom, only traveling when duty calls. The Hot is a man of loyalty to the kingdom, a trait he shares with his daughter, Denali. Uh, if anyone has gotten to the merfolk part, they've seen Denali and seen how pretty she is. So I am excited to see what her mother Etna looks like. Because her father looks really awesome. So I'm curious to see what how they did her mom. Merfolk relationships. Once you've advanced far enough in the game, you can start building relationships with the merfolk. Explore how we're alike and different from our friends beneath the sea. Discover their likes, dislikes, and they might open up about their stories. Learn about their hobbies, passions, and heck. If you talk to the right person, they might even reveal the advantages and disadvantages of being named after famous mountains. 
Merfolk Romance. That's right. Romance with the Merfolk will be available in the 1.1 update. Who's the first choice? Is it Samaru or Semaru? As a lot of people wanted Semaru as a marriage candidate. Remember, Erica's tip. Everyone loves gifts. Now it's not just the townies, but also the underwater hotties. Ocean farming. Uh, game progression. Unlock underwater farming. Farmers, once you've cleared your underwater farm, dive right into farming. Mix different land crops together and see what underwater seed bags they produce. Plant them to unlock even more varieties of seeds. A whole new world indeed. And it looks like we have some, like the sand rocks from the beach, uh, trash, and looks like a kelp. The picture is silver kelp, so I don't know if the kelp changes or not. That you will have to clear off your farm. What crops need underwater is not more water, but light, and that's exactly what the Lumio wand will provide. A new tool you'll acquire as you progress through the game. So obviously, I've been upgrading my tools and trying to build up resources for anything that's coming down the line. Now, the one they show is pumpkin, flame scallop, and bronze kelp, and it makes labu seeds. And fun fact means, uh, labu means pumpkin in Ba Aja, Indonesia. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, ranch has five underwater animals, mermu, incog, shellcluck, hair poultry, and sea shroud. Just like the land ranch animals, each of these cuties produces something that, that you can sell. Shellcluck produces a sphere, which looks like a green pearl. Incog produces deep void ink. Hair poultry produces kara egg. Sea shroud produces sheesh, sea shroud algae. And mermu produces mermu milk, which is basically... A mix between a manatee and a cow and oh my goodness all these creatures are adorable and I cannot wait and underneath the picture they put I know they're all cute but I must say my ranch strategy would be to fill up my farm with millions of mermoos because look at them yes I agree they are adorable uh, she shroud takes inspiration from the leaf sl slug a real underwater sea creature um, just like your dry cows and sheep, you'll need to pet these underwater animals, feed them hay, blah, blah, blah. By the time you gain access to these cuties, you already know the ropes. You'll be a pro rancher yourself. So whether we can use the auto uh, machines from the lab down here or if she will have underwater versions, I don't know. So thus I am getting uh, kelp essence and stuff made up. And trying to make sure I'm stocked up on resources. Of course, there's new ocean decor, new farm, new decor. You'll have two separate farms in version 1.1. Where would all that money go if we didn't release more decor? Um, you can still bring your favorite land decor. Do not worry. We've added uh, new tags to decor items to clarify whether you place these items on land, underwater, or both. Ocean rank S, remember these things you saw while diving? Uh, if you advance through the diving quest line, you'll likely come across these various orchestra sites. These will play a key role in your final quest to reach ocean rank S. NPC speech bubble, we've added a variety of speech bubbles that your spouse might say to you during the day. In testing, we found this new feature to be super immersive and really helps bring the characters to life. Decor system improvements. We've significantly improved the decor experience. In addition to UX improvements, flooring and walls are now treated as stackable items. Upon applying a floor or wall, you'll acquire the items as a floaty, so you can easily reuse the patterns you've collected. Library books. For enjoyers of books, the library now slowly gets populated as you increase the town's rank. Bonus. Some books now offer perks when you read, such as mastery points. Additionally, Two special books provide a permanent buff that boosts the rate you earn relationship points. Which is going to be weird because I'm at town rank A, so it's going to be like my library is going to fill up overnight probably. Uh, multiplayer teaser and switchbackers. We're making tremendous progress on adding multiplayer to Coral Island. You and up to three farmers let loose on Starlet Town. 
Switchbackers, we're still in the game development process and going strong. We don't have any updates to share yet, but we'll keep you informed as soon as we have more info to share. So there's no update on Switch, but they are currently still working on it. Uh, in June, we'll showcase the progress of multiplayer development Coral Island. Can't wait for you to see the updates and just how enjoyable farming with friends can be. Speaking of friends, if you're looking to make new gaming buddies, why not join our Discord server? You'll meet some of the coolest, most passionate farmers around. So. Hi, buddy. Give me a sip of water <laughs> after all that reading. So I am very excited, but that is why I've been working on building up resources. Bass looks happy today, but that's why I've been building up resources. And getting tools upgraded. Dear Diana, thank you for helping around the island. The town residents and I want to thank you for the way you've helped the community. We hope it helps you in some way too. Best wishes, Mayor Connor. Okay. I guess it was just a thank you note. Ooh. Uh, I don't know if the siren is going to get picked up or not. It is the first Wednesday of the month, and that is when they test our sirens around here. Let's see. So if we plant Dahlia, they would be ready on the last day of the month. Hi, bud. Okay, let me pull out the calculator. <laughs> Okie dokie. 27. I have one, so... 26. <laughs> Hi, bud, bud. Got three things we can actually plant in winter time. So I might do one of each and then split the fourth one between um, the cotton and the flower so we can keep the Machine going. Hi, bud. -bud.
There we go. He said he's gonna hop in my chair. Oh, he hopped down completely. Got in my chair and then down. So I am holding on to my feathers because I don't know if in the update they will finally have use or not. Our salt is ready. More sake to age. Two fermented cheeses. Got some honeys. I think it doesn't really matter about putting more flowers in there right now because we got plenty of honey to turn into mead, and that is a long process. We're in here and put the salt in there. Okay, so we need, I believe, five hardwood. Three osmium bars. Might just split that up to 30 and 31 for the next trips and be done with that coffer. Hey Yuri. I think tonight's dinner is going to be curry. Seems like the right weather for it. Curry sounds absolutely delicious. I've never had any. I really want to try some. that shirt on you, Diana. Thank you. It's like this old thing? We're probably going to be back shortly. Just got to write something down. So, five batteries. Five gold essence, 
200 scrap and five wind essence. Which makes sense. Since the underwater stuff is like a little tornado type thing. Skull goes here. we go, 200 scrap. Indescence. One, two, three, four, five. Five batteries. And five gold essence. Trash collection. Yeah, I'm going to assume it probably has a range. It probably won't show us unless we're underwater. Retrieve our tool. Upgrade a tool. So we're upgrading our scythe. I think that's only three items that need to go anywhere. Yep, it has a range. Okay. He's at range too. Depending on how big our uh, underwater farm is, we might only need two of those. We're gonna go ahead and throw that miscellaneous machines. Crafting. 
Gold essence, batteries, wind essence, okay. So nothing in there. Gold Keras thing goes in there. Aquarium goes there. Is the bell. And everything else gets sold. Did not mean that. I put that in there and that goes. We're going to go do a little mining. It is. I want to see how well our new pickaxe works in our hardest mine. We got some osmium here. One, two. Oh, nice. Two hits and osmium's done. that this is osmium quality it has another enchantment slot which is why we've been holding on to some of our low tier stuff so we just use five of those now the thing is you cannot lose any of your enchantment points they will uh if you go over they will just show up for your next item But when you are trying to get an enchantment, you're not guaranteed to get the one you want. So it's a lot nicer to have a lot of the lower point stuff to waste and use when trying to get the enchantment you do want. When we get our side back, we might go to the top tier underwater cave and see how quick it is to so clear trash in there. But that'll be a couple episodes from now because it's going to be four days till it's ready.
So two hits and the osmium is broken, which means the other wars are probably one hit and done. Easy poo. What's up, Princess Daisy? I'm distracted by something. And she's on the floor. She might be able to see out the uh, balcony door window from where she's sitting. See the birds out there. my stuff. Well, I was done with fossils. <laughs> but that's gonna happen when you go mining, so. Wishful thinking for fishing tomorrow. Let's see, what would be good on that? Well, we already have no energy drain on there. Okay. Our hoe has nothing on there. Rare drop and swift swing. Like, I hear you, kitty. Okay, this one is a involved recipe. Well, quite a few item recipe. So, let's see. We need wheat flour, butter, and honey. So, wheat flour... Butter.
There the honey. Okay. To be near the fruit, but I only got a couple of them, so. Yep, where I was moused over. I already did. Yay! And we made apple pie. Okay, let's see. Skillet. Cauliflower, potato, and any flour. All flour casserole. Okay. Ceramic bowl. Hair root, sugar, and coconut. It's any coconut, by the way. Sennel. Stores energy, sweet and chewy. So I'm guessing like a candy. Make some more uh, wheat flour up after this one. This is oven. Let's see, cocoa bean, egg, and flour. Any flour. Chocolate chip muffins. So make some more wheat flour. So on those 
and We have, there's coffee bean, and there's trouble. There we go. Like our little buddy is still growing. And unfortunately, our fish forecast can't show us the fish that we're after because the computer does not show mines. So I'm not sure why they did not include the mines. Now we have these two, but we don't have the recipe for them. You. I'm not a big fan of fall. I don't hate it. It's all right. Almost missed a shell. Yeah.
doesn't look like any more shells. Hmm. Have you seen a pair of sunglasses anywhere? I lost mine. I'm sure I had them yesterday at work. Nope, I haven't seen any. Found plenty of broken glasses on Stardew Valley, but I haven't found any glasses here. Today's 23rd. <laughs> so we have absolutely no birthdays. <laughs> so we'll have three birthdays and the spooky festival on our next recording, but nothing today. Look closely when I paint here. The closer I look, the more unusual my paintings get. Well, she looks too close. She might be uh, cross-eyed. So I'd wonder if she's painting cross-eyed. Have you started farming this season? Uh, yeah, dude. It's almost the end of the season. Now. There is a gold giant rock blocking this pathway. Which you can break, you just gotta hit it at the right spot. Now I'm curious what this is going to become. If that's gonna become access to the savanna. Or is that gonna be part of attractions? I'm curious to find out. Like, sorry bugs, I don't have a net for a couple more days. And bugs. Like this way. Hmm. 
that does not go in there. See another fossil. So that's what we're doing. Like bug, you know, go in there. Sleep. Oh, we leveled up combat. Spikes and monster scent too. Plus three max stamina. Hey, a little bit of money. Compared to what we've been making. Still not rainy or windy. And we cannot plant anything because we don't have anything short enough that would be ready on the last day of the season. So. It's like, why were you not harvesting? <laughs> Thank you. 
Wrong box. See, let's look over this list of recipes we still got to craft. We don't have that one yet. We need Dinda at seven hearts. That requires any flower. That requires any flower. We've got quite a few more recipes on the back side that we haven't done. That one requires rice flour. Give me a sip of drink. So, when is it? Noon, basically. We are going to go try and do some fishing. See if it's right or not. Have a request. We do have a request. What in who is Connor wants pumpkin? We can do that.
Pumpkin. Probably one of the quickest turn ins. I'm getting a little whiff of fresh cut grass, I guess, one of our neighbors. Lawn's got mowed. Because I haven't hired a mower today. Ready tomorrow. I think that's it. Okay, it's not quite 10. We got a little bit of time to kill. So I ate on those. No kimchi's ready. 
No honey. Got some honey over here, though. Drop all this off. Water, wind, and fire mine. Just in case we run into any mobs. And you're cooking. Oven. Cocoa bean, any flour, and butter. Butter. Wheat flour and cocoa bean. Now, this one is a little weird to me. I figure this is possibly a cultural recipe or something. So, we need sugar. Nola oil and a potato. Donut. Yeah, I don't quite understand that one, but. We do this one, we're gonna to need to make more sugar. All right, make bowl sugar, then milk and egg. Egg custard. Oh yeah, so that one we need syrup. Grab Hurricane
Okay, we got syrup going. We got sugar going. A little early. I can go ahead and start doing a little fishing ahead of time. Oh, we got a tuna. Go ahead and take out this little diggy guy. So this fish is supposed to come out uh, between noon because it's afternoon through evening. Uh, it's supposed to be rain, storm, or windy. Starting the 22nd. We have not seen those conditions yet. By chance, if any of those conditions are wrong, there we can try a little fishing. Oh, yellowtail. another tuna. Nothing wrong with uh, farming some good fish for uh, cooking with since we don't have a lot of fish.
pretty good, seeing as we've gotten steady amount of fish and only our second trash. Sure, of that mark. <laughs> there we go. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. One recipe I think was crab or shrimp could be used. I don't know if there was one that was specifically shrimp, so. Figure come back here, catch a few shrimp, and then check our machines if there's anything ready to sell before we go to sleep for the night. A tiger barb. Oh. I'll hold on to him for cooking too. I'm gonna get another two shrimp or so. Ah. It's like what you do, dump all your flyers in the water after you left. Like seriously. I'll take that too because I don't know if that might be needed later. I get one more shrimp.
I said one more shrimp, not one more flyer. I get the message. Hot pepper juice. We got some kimchi. We got a syrup. Oh, nice. Got several beads to sell. Okay, we're going to check out prices. There's three of these meads we haven't sold before. But we had some fishing. So after a day of fishing in the fall, warm up before we go to bed. Some hot cocoa. Twenty merit points. Friendship up with Connor. Yeah, we made twenty-five thousand. Nice. Forty that almost five thousand from other farming. Let's see, juice, a pepper. Oh wow, <laughs> blue dahlia honey gold is four fourteen. Osmium blue dahlia honey turned into mead two thousand four hundred eighty four. Nice. Sunflower mead, 2,173. Iris mead, 3,156. And our bok choy kimchi was 2,000. Our potato kimchi was 1,300. Nice. Daisy mead seems to be the lower one on the totem pole, but... 1,200. Still nothing to sneeze at. It all adds up. Boy, does it add up. Of course today is a windy day. So, our next recording, we should have a chance at getting that fish. So, that we're after. And it'll be the last fish for the museum. So, I hope you all have a good rest of the day, and I'll see you on the next one.